Hi, welcome to a little bit about everything. And normally I would not do a video on changing oil in a car, but on this 2020 Subaru Forester, they put a cover plate over where the oil drain plug is. And some people have actually drained the transmission type fluid because it's further back and visible. So I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and make this video just in case someone else is struggling with it. How in the world do you find the oil plug on a 2020 Subaru Forester? It may also be applicable to later models and maybe the 2019. I'm not sure when they started doing this. This is my third Subaru Forester and the first time I ran into this, but it's pretty easy to remove. So let me show you where it is. Okay, here we are underneath the vehicle and this plate is slightly to the driver's side, just slightly off center towards the driver's side. And I don't know if you can see, it would also be backwards, but it does say here, oil drain. There's a Phillips head plastic removable clip here, and then it looks like there's four more that uh, maybe just pop with a screwdriver. So we'll see here in just a second. And now this should lift out of here and maybe not and unscrew it a little bit more okay so this is just a screw and then these are gonna have to be popped so let me uh, change the and on my screwdriver. You know these normally you can just kind of pop there you go that just pops out and then it just pops right out. So again there's a little space just pop that down and then this just pops out. Final one. And now that just comes off. I've heard that some people are just leaving it off. For now, I think I'll put it back on. But now let's see if we can find that oil drain plug. Okay, there it is right here. Okay, here is the cover plate and actually the screw could have been left in and then this pivots. I don't know if you can see over here it says turn. So when I put it back on I'll leave this screw in and then these just pop out. You swivel it to access it. The socket size that I used is 14 millimeter, 9 sixteenths also I think would have removed it. And when I pulled the drain plug off, it did not have a compression washer. That's this piece. Now I will use it when I replace it. And I haven't checked yet. It may be stuck to the, to the oil pan itself. So here is the official Subaru part number. But you can also enter that in at Amazon and get them a lot cheaper. So, and if you're curious, it makes sense, this is a little beveled, I guess I'd call it. The flat end goes on the drain plug, and then the beveled end goes up into the oil pan. And that makes sense, because then this will crush and make a better seal. So let me go underneath the car again and see if uh, that compression ring is stuck to the oil pan. Okay, here you can see the uh, oil pan, the drain, and there is no compression ring, so out of the factory on mine they did not put one, but I will use them. It reduces the risk of you stripping out your drain plug and um, it just makes it easier to get a good seal. Sorry if that's blurry, but it's up real close. Okay, I have my 
compression washer in place. The cone side up, the flat side up against the drain plug. And this is my first oil change on this car. It has 5,000 miles on it. And you may ask, why do I do it myself? And that's just because I had a bad experience at a dealership many years ago. I suspect they messed up my car. So I just keep records and I change it myself. And I do all the maintenance myself unless it's a recall or something major that I can't do. As far as tightening this, you can kind of feel the compression nut collapse. And then it'll get snug. And that's where I stop. Okay, right there is where it's snug. And I get just one little extra little tug. And that should do it. And then after you fill it with oil, go ahead and leave that cap off. Come back, start the car, let it run for a little bit. Just double check there's no drips. Because when you put this cover back on, that might hold the oil and you won't know that you don't have it tight. Although I've never had one leak. So let me get the new oil in there. So I just put this strap on just to get it uh, started to be loosened. And it goes. I only use that to get it started. I don't uh, put the new one on with it. I just hand tighten them. That's a Subaru original filter and what I've been using is the Fram Ultra Synthetic XG7317 and it says it's good for 20,000 miles. So on your filter you want to dab some oil on your finger and then put a light coating on that gasket. It says one turn after it makes contact. And right there is one full turn. On this particular model with the boxer engine, in the back of the owner's manual it says it takes 4.4 quarts of oil. On my 2016 model it was 5.4. So this will be more convenient in that one five quart container will more than fill it and then I'll have extra in case I need to add oil at some point. One thing I'm not fond of is the distance you have to go to hit the filler. So what I'll do is I'll get pretty close to the right amount and then I'll start the engine let it run. and then double check it. I'm going to guess that's at about four quarts, so I'll need to add more. Okay, I've got this back in place, so in the future you can just remove those four and then this just slides off to the side. But I'm going to guess that if you go and have your oil changed someplace, they will just remove this and you'll never see it again. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. And these just snap into place. They're pretty easy. Where some people make some error is they don't see this plate and they go all the way back there and you will find a drain plug. I don't know if I can point to it. But see how this right there looks like a drain plug? But that's not your oil pan, that's your transmission fluid. So don't make that mistake. And that's the whole reason I made this video.